Hey, it's Philip here. You're very welcome to today's Twyford tip. Today, I wanted to give you a very simple way of creating a social media competitor analysis. This is a very important step to take when you're creating your digital strategy. You really need to understand who are your competitors, how are they performing on social, what are they creating on social, so that you can see if you are behind the curve or you're on a par or are there opportunities that you can exploit. Now, the first step in this process is obviously a quite obvious one, but one that maybe a lot of businesses aren't fully aware of is actually really defining who are your competitors. Do you know the businesses who are operating in the same industry, operating the same products and services that you are actually offering? Obviously, if you have a sales team, it would be good to chat with them to find out what is going on on the ground. Do they know of existing competitors that are trying to go in on their patch? Or is there new companies that are coming in that you need to be aware of? Another simple way also is to use simple old Google. Use some keywords, phraseology, for what you think people search for when they're looking for your product or service and see what companies come up. Do the competitors that you already know about, are they coming up? But is there some companies that are now appearing on search that you have no knowledge of? So that is really step one. Make sure you define your competitors and put them all down. Maybe capture the top 10, 15 that you feel are a real threat um, that are kind of, I suppose, bit by bit, maybe taking some of your market share, capture them on a Google Sheet, and then we move on to stage two. So step two, when you have identified those competitors, is to now actually see what social media channels that those competitors are on. I tend to find this quite easily done when you go onto their websites. Most websites will now have the social share icons on there, so you can quickly find out what their social channels are. Obviously as well, you know, taking their company name and trying to find if that as username is on the various channels is another way you can do this. But it's really important that you try and establish for each competitor, what channels are they actually engaging and creating content on? Are they predominantly folks on the Twitter and the Facebook? Maybe it's more LinkedIn. Are they doing more TikTok or Instagram reels? Really start to drive down deep as to where they're focusing a lot of their attention. Because if they're a similar business, obviously to you being a competitor, and they're putting a lot of time and effort into certain channels that maybe you haven't considered or you're not active on, that might be a big gap in your digital strategy that you haven't figured out. So once again, this is a big thing. Start to really drill down and see as well, particularly across the channels, what type of content are they posting? Are they focusing on image content? Is it video? Is it maybe infographics? Are they focusing more on short form video through YouTube Shorts, Reels and TikTok? Are they trying to be more thought leadership where they create tips with links driv driving back to their website to a blog post? Once again, build all this detail, really get a picture because it will then give you a real excellent basis for when you then move to step three. So we've now defined our competitors. We've now also identified what social media channels they're on, including do they have a Google My Business profile, which is very important. So now number three is drilling down into those social media channels and looking specifically at the engagement that they're getting on the content. Are they getting lots of likes? Are they getting retweets? Are they getting reshares? Are they getting engagement on their posts? or? Are you noticing a trend that their posts on certain channels get no traction, where their posts on other channels get really good traction? What type of comments are they getting? Are people, especially if you're looking at a Google My Business profile, are people leaving testimonials, reviews? Are those reviews positive or are those reviews negative? Are people asking questions within the social media channels and on the Google My Business profile that are not being responded to, that could give you ideas. Once again, it is now building up a very strong profile as to are your competitors using social purely to just put out post after post, but with no real engagement strategy, not engaging with their audience, not answering maybe complaints, not thanking customers for testimonials, not responding to negative reviews, 
on and on. There is so much gold and opportunity that you can find by the practices of your competitors. So this is a very important step. So once again, catalog what you are seeing on a Google Sheet. So then you start to build up a real profile as to the potential social media strategy that your competitors are using, what is potentially working for them, what is not working, and where can you actually tailor your strategy to be better. We're now going to move on to step four. So step four is a step that a lot of businesses sometimes neglect. They focus purely on the social media channels, but this I feel is a critical area. And it is of course, to do an audit of your competitors' websites. Go onto their website, look at the user experience. Do you find the way the content is laid out is really user friendly? Can, based on a search that you might put in for a, a competing product, does the landing page you land on, potentially from a social media channel, bring you directly to that product? Does the navigation allow you to smoothly get to the answers that you want? Identify how are they actually creating the content? Do they use a lot of text? Is it image base? Is it a combination of image, text and video? Do they have a blog? Are they trying to showcase thought leadership? Do they have downloadables? As in, do they have maybe eBooks that you have to put your email in to download? Really kind of start to dissect your competitors' websites to see, are they doing things on their website that potentially you could improve on, or you haven't even thought of doing on your own website, but you feel could really add value. Very, very important. And another thing as well that I would suggest is always use both for your own website and your competitor's website, use the Google Page Speed Insights tool. Because by putting in your competitor's website, you will get back a report from Google as to whether it's hitting those kind of key speed marks of a website loading under three seconds across both desktop and mobile. Because if you are finding that your competitor's websites are taking way in excess of what a customer may wait around for, that could be a competitive advantage that you could leverage for your own site once your own site is obviously optimized properly and is loading quickly. So that's step four. Let's move on to step five. So hopefully you are liking this content. If you are liking the tip so far, do give me a like and a share and do leave a, a comment. Um, but we're now into tip five and stay till the end of this tip because I'm going to share with you some tools that you can incorporate into this particular step. And it is, of course, taking all of the learnings and the information, the research you've done from those first four steps, and it's now creating your own social media content action plan. How are you now going to create and I suppose set up your own social media channels, looking at your website, the type of content you're going to create to now counteract what you're seeing your competitors are doing and to make sure that you are starting to become the, the, the leading company to go for, the thought leader in your niche, in your industry. I suppose definitely it is also very, very wise at this stage to start to do what's known as a content audit. You know, look at material that you already have created. Is there material that you can repurpose, freshen up, reuse, or that you haven't thought of maybe using in a particular format? Maybe you have long form video that maybe with some skill by a video editor, you could crop it down into short form video for YouTube shorts or a uh, an Instagram Reel or maybe TikTok that could start to position you on those channels way and ahead above of your competitors. Now, as I mentioned at the start, there are some tools that I think are fantastic that you can use. Some are free, some have free trials, but definitely check these out because they will really help you as you progress with ongoing competitive analysis. Uh, I suppose the critical thing to say to you is that it's not just a one time thing that you should do this. I would always say do a competitive analysis twice a year, you know, once every six months, because then you'll be able to track to see if your competitors have made any sort of adjustments to improve what they were doing when you last analyzed or have they regressed, which is obviously a further opportunity for you. Now, the first tool I would suggest maybe you look at, it's a free tool by Google. It's called Google Alerts. Um, great tool. And basically what you can do is you can put in any kind of phrase and set a time as to when you want Google to email you when that particular phrase across the web is mentioned. So obviously, why don't you put in your competitors' names? 
why don't you put in your own business name and maybe set up a either a daily or a weekly alert so that you can then kind of see if mentions of your competitors are actually uh, happening what has been said etc there is then the next step up from Google Alerts, which is a paid tool, but you can take a free trial. It's called Mention. And by its very name, you can set up very detailed alerts across the web for basically your own brand name or your competitor's brand's name. So once again, the reports can be fantastic, but once again, it keeps you ahead of the curve so that you're also monitoring what people are saying about your business as well as your competitors. Then there is a next tool, which is more focusing around some of the keywords and how the, your competitors' websites are performing when it comes to Google search ranking. The first tool is SEMrush. Now, it is a paid tool, but they do have a sort of a, a free plan, which still gives you fantastic um, feedback and information as to how potentially not only your own website, but your competitors' websites are performing and it also showcases some of the keywords that your competitors are ranking for, which is so valuable because once again, if you're able to identify some of the keywords that your competitors are ranking for, these may be keywords that you never considered trying to rank for within your own website. And hence, maybe there's a content gap that you can fill. So semrush.com, definitely check it out. Another tool which uh, is free to a certain level um, which can help you once again with identifying a, a competitor's keywords and how their website is performing from a, a ranking authority is Uber Suggest. Once again, another fantastic tool and it is very interesting to take both the learnings from both these tools when you put in your own website, your competitor's websites, that you get a really full immersed picture as to potentially what is going on. I mentioned obviously about website speed. So definitely look at the Google page insights speed tool. Very, very um, important to ensure that you're trying to get your website to get under that three second loading time. Because unfortunately we now live in a time where everybody wants to get to the answers very quickly. And if your pages are not loading on desktop and especially on mobile, people are gonna click away. And then the final tool I wanted to share with you is a Chrome extension and it also is a website. It is free to a certain extent and it's called Similar Web. This is truly a fantastic tool. If you only use one tool out of this list, this is the one I would recommend because what Similar Web will do is it will allow you to input any website, in this case your competitors, and it will show you um, obviously keywords, but it will show you what countries that you're getting traffic from, your competitors are getting traffic from. It will show you kind of landing page time, bounce rates, a whole host of information that once again will really help you hone your content strategy going forward to ensure that you're maximizing, I suppose, the failings of your competitors because they have not watched this video. So definitely, I hope you found today's Twifer tip useful. A competitive analysis can bring you so much wealth of information and then allow you to get real clarity when you're trying to create social media going forward. As always, I will be back soon again with another Twyford tip. And until then, take care. Thank you.